Simple scroll in animations are a great way to add a little bit of life to your site. Just take a look at this. When I scroll down, as you can see, things are starting to move in. So how do you do that in Div Hunt? Let's take a look right now. Spoiler alert, it is really simple. So here we are in the builder. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have the correct plugin installed. So let's go over here to our settings. Just hit that, go to browse plugins. And then if we scroll down, we will find simple scroll animations. And if yours looks like this and says uninstall, you're good to go. If it's purple and says install, just click install and you're fine. Once you've installed it, head back into the builder and then click the item that you want to apply it to. So in this case, I'm gonna go over here to this div which wraps the image. And then I just need to go to settings, transform and simple animation. Now in here, I have a couple different options. So let's go through those. The first thing we have is type. So there's fade in, which is just going to simply fade it in. Fade in down is going to fade it in and slide it from the top. Fade in up is going to do the same from the bottom. Left is going to do it from the right. Right is going to do it from the left. Sounds like I'm saying opposites here, but it's talking about where it is coming from. So let's set this right now to fade in up so that it slides from the bottom. Then what we have here, delay in milliseconds. So this is 20% of a second. If we want it to take longer, like one second, we can set this to a thousand. Or if we want it to happen instantly, which probably wouldn't recommend with scroll animations, we can set it to zero. Offset is showing how long it has to be scrolled in for this animation to trigger. So this element here, let's just pretend it was a bit further down the page. If I have it set to zero, then as soon as the viewport hits the top, the animation will trigger. But let's say it's set to maybe 250 pixels. It's not going to trigger until I'm scrolled down to this. And we can set this to anything we want. We can set it to 10,000 if we want it to trigger when we're at the bottom of the page, which makes no sense, but you know, do whatever you want. Then we have duration. So this is going to just determine how long it takes for this animation to happen. So if we set it to, let's say 5,000, then it would take five seconds from the start to the finish, which we don't want. Usually between, let's say, 100 and 800 is what's normal. So anyways, now that we have this applied in the way that we want it to, we cannot preview it inside the builder. Instead, we're gonna have to go to the live site, which in this case, of course, is the staging version. And then if we refresh, what we're gonna see is it is gonna slide in exactly how we want it to.